my kings and queens welcome back to another video and in today's video i will be showing you how i grew super super fast on tiktok a lot of people ask me like oh my gosh how did you get to 50,000 so fast and it's crazy because like just a few months ago i only had like a thousand and if you saw my draw my life you know there was that one video that just made my channel go up so I'll be telling you how to do that today. I did make a video about TikTok and hacks and things like that, but that video was more, you know, just like really rushed through because I was just showing you guys that tutorial of shaking. And I got a lot of views on that video. So I was like, why not make like a little part two more in detail? And instead of just like general ways to do it, because those were just ways that I looked online, these are my personal experience, things that I recommend you do if you want to grow your TikTok account. So if you don't know what TikTok is, basically it is an app where you get to make funny videos. It's like the new update Vine, but instead of just like funny videos, you can make lip syncs or sing the song. You can show your talent. So if you saw my draw my life, I discussed it, but if you haven't, I would advise you go watch that after you finish this video. So basically, um, I had my TikTok account, a lot of people also ask me like how long I've had my account. I created my account back when it was still Musical.ly and basically I was just making videos with my cousin Kennedy and there weren't, we weren't really getting any views and that's back when it was our combined TikTok account, um, Musical.ly account, it was called Cianity. We did a YouTube video, YouTubers try out Musical.ly or something like that and we made like four videos and they're pretty funny to make. So then we don't live together. We don't really see each other other than school. So it was kind of hard to like keep making this, the music leads. And then when we got together to film YouTube videos, it was like we kind of forget. So I started making them since I uh, created the account. I started making them. And then it was still called Sanity and people thought like that was my name. So then I changed it to my name because obviously Sanity could not have that social media. It wasn't active enough. Um, so then I just started making my own videos that weren't getting any views and it was basically just like me having fun by myself, like making videos, getting no views, no likes, and just like, you know, having fun, looking at my own videos and laughing like, wow, I did that. That was basically what my page was. So, um, over the summer when we went to my sister's college orientation, which I think was like at the end of July, beginning of August. I created a, we went to a hotel and I was really, really bored. I created a video lip syncing to a video. I'm not gonna put it in because you guys saw it um, in my last TikTok video, if you've seen that. But uh, I basically made that video and all of a sudden it started getting a lot of likes and a lot of views. And right over the summer, I realized that your videos get more when you put a lot of hashtags. Because if you hashtag feature me, hashtag badge me hashtag crown me things like that people see that because they hashtag it too and then they're like oh let me see your video and i started getting a lot of views on that video and then a lot of comments and people are like oh my gosh she sings so good oh my gosh you're singing your voice is so beautiful and i was kind of confused i actually even wasn't that excited i was like okay all these people are looking at my video and they think it's me and so I was trying to like read through the comments and be like, that's not me. I literally put hashtag lip sync in the video. And a lot of people thought it was me. And I didn't want to like, I didn't want people to think that even though I was getting like views from it, I didn't want people to think that because that's kind of discrediting the real girl who sang it, which is Whitney. I made more TikToks and I made like a big old comment like it was a lip sync. When they saw that video, I had reached like 30K or something like that. I went live one day, about 100 people were in there and I discussed the situation about, you know, it wasn't me singing and People believed it and then I got my own name. I wasn't known as the girl who sang, I was Sierra Andrea. So then I started promoting my YouTube channel and my channel started popping off. By the way, if you want a video of me talking about how to start a successful channel, comment down below and like this video. So yeah, I just stayed consistent and just continue to make videos. Also, I started going live a lot because it's one thing to see your favorite people making videos every day, but it's another thing to be able to talk to them, for them to actually read what you're typing to them in real time, like, which is crazy. 
One, just create that one video that can get you popping. Whatever you think it is, just create that one video. Two, hashtag your video so people can see them. Also, the most important hashtag is for you. If you hashtag for you, a lot of people see that because it gets on their page when they look at the for you page. Three, try to go live to be active with your viewers. And four, just have fun with it. She follow me on Instagram at Andrea if you want me to go live with you, talking to you on Instagram. Subscribe to this channel to become a king or a queen. We're on the road to 600 subscribers. Big things popping, little things stopping. I will love you guys and I'll see you guys in my next video. By the way, I will be trying to post more. I just posted like a few days ago and this video is going up pretty close to the date. So it's no longer like a video a week. It's like a video whenever. So love you guys. See you later. Bye.